welcome back to Groundbreak Games and another tutorial on using free Paragon assets from Epic Games. Today I'm going to do a really quick lesson um, that was a request from one of our viewers to use the mouse wheel to zoom. So that's what we're going to work on today. It should be real quick and easy. And if you have a specific request, feel free to leave it in the comments section below and I'll do my best to either get to it in another video or maybe just help you out in the comments section. So, uh, without any more delay, let's get started. Welcome back. The first thing that we need to do today is go up to Edit and down to Project Settings. And on the left side, input, and then instead of action mappings, just directly underneath that, you want to go to access mappings and drop that down. Hit the plus sign, and then I'm just going to call this camera zoom. Oops. And you can call it whatever you want, but make sure that you set this to mouse wheel axis. And once you do that, you can just close that out. Then go to third person BP blueprints, third person character. Open up our third person character blueprint. And the first thing that we'll do in here is on the variables on the left side, we're going to add a new variable by hitting the plus sign. And I'll just call this cam boom length. and set that to a float. You just click over here, drop down, and set it to float. And compile and save that. So then we're going to need to set this camera boom length. And the reason that we're going to create, create a variable is to have a difference between the variable and the actual target arm length of the boom so that we can interpret it slowly and have a nice smooth transition rather than every click of the mouse wheel making the the camera jump to a position. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a minute and, and it will probably make more sense than me trying to explain it. But anyway, um, just so you aren't wondering why we're kind of setting two variables that are similar, that's why we're creating the cam boom length. So now we need to go to the construction script, double click on that. And then pull that around until you find this little purple node here. And off the construction script node, um, we're going to pull in first up on the top left the camera boom. If you see that, the camera is attached to it, so we'll just pull that in and drop it. And then off the camera boom, uh, we're going to uh, get target arm length. Then off the, not off the target arm length, over here on the left, our cam boom length that we just created, we're going to drag that in, but um, if you aren't familiar with Unreal 4, just to give you a little shortcut, when you drag variables into your graph here, if you hold Alt, you will drag in a set variable, and if you hold Control, you're, you will drag in a get variable so um, you can drag in either way depending on which key you're holding so we need the set so we can delete that but I just wanted to show you guys that if you didn't, didn't know and we're going to connect the target arm length to the cam boom length compile and save and we can close out a construction script go back to your event graph here and anywhere you want uh, I'll put it down over here we're going to get our zoom camera zoom sorry which is under axis events and you'll see this has a, a value that is automatically coming in from it so uh, we're gonna pull off there and get a sequence
And off the sequence, we're going to take our cam boom length and just hold Alt, drag that in. And we're going to set that. Just kind of pull it out here for now. And so off the axis value, pull that down. And we're going to do uh, a multiplication. So you can just hit the sh um, shift eight to get the star and look for, f you want float times the float. That's what we're looking for. And we're going to connect this up here and make this negative 50. Now, off of the output of the multi float times float, we're going to get a plus. So just put plus sign in, and you want float plus float. And we'll just move this down to the bottom pin. And we're going to take our cam boom length and drag it in, and just, uh, you can hold alt. I'm sorry, do not hold alt. Hold control and get it. Sorry about that. So now that we have those two things added together, I'm going to pull off the end of this and type clamp, C-L-A-M-P, and we want to clamp under float, clamp, float. And so our minimum here is going to be 80, and you guys can kind of play around with this. You'll see what it does later, um, but you can adjust the length however you want it. I'll make it 80 and 1000 so you can kind of see. This is going to keep it so you can't just scroll into infinity or, um, or scroll way past the character. So zero would be the character's position. A thousand is how far away the boom is going to end up being. Um, so pull off return value to cam boom length and that's all set. So off our sequence here, we need to pull the camera boom in again like we did in the construction script. I'm just going to compile and save that since we finished the section here. And off that, we're going to get target arm length again. And off target arm length, pull and... Type F interp, and you want in interpolation F interp two. So now that we have this, we're going to pull our cam boom length back in and get that. And you can do that with control. Plug that into target, and then for delta time, just pull it off there and. Type world delta seconds. And our interp speed at the bottom here is going to be 5. It's a pretty good number to keep it smooth. You can adjust these numbers and kind of see what they do. This is how smooth the transition is going to be between the target arm length variable and the cam boom length variable. So they're basically going to both and always end up being the same length, but this allows a small amount of time in between the interpolation so that it's a smoother transition than just clicking with the mouse wheel. So anyway, So next, what we have to do is pull the camera boom in again. And this time we're going to set target arm length. And the return value here is going to be the value of the tar the final value of the target arm length. And then just connect that from the bottom of the sequence. So that'll give us a nice smooth transition. Okay, so that should be everything. Let's just compile 
save and if you hit play and if you want to go to full screen once you're in the play mode just hit F11 you can get a nice full screen here uh, but we should have a smooth transition for the mouse wheel and I just want to show you one more thing you hit F11 again if you're in full screen and exit out of that open up your third person character again if you want to change the actual camera position of how it's going to move in and out just click on the camera itself in viewport and you can move this camera however you want it um, oh don't move it forward and back like I just did <laughs> you don't need to do that um, but and it, if you do something like that and you're like oh man how do I get out of it control Z just to undo um, but if you need to move the camera up down left right however you need to adjust it and then you can also tilt and adjust it that way and however suits your needs best but that will give you a nice smooth zoom in and out and I hope you guys find that useful if you have any other suggestions for videos or special requests let me know and I hope you guys are enjoying the series please like and subscribe for more future videos thanks a lot